Welcome to Teams. In this video, we will explain how to teach with Teams. First, how to start a meeting a class. Do we present the toolbar of Teams? Do useful basic functionalities, its limitations? We will also see how to create a small, small groups in the class and communicate privately with them. And finally, we will show how to video record the class. So let's start with how to start the class. You will click on the class, the team you created, and then you go on the video here, the camera. Meet now, you click again on meet now, and from the moment you appear in the screen, it means that the class started. You see your name on the right and the student's name will appear from when they join their, their, their names appear so this is the toolbar when you when you move your mouse you will see appearing this uh, toolbar here here we see that our meeting started one minute 20 seconds ago you see i can turn off the camera which many students do or turn it on i can mute or unmute my microphone at the end of the class i will hang up i will finish the class clicking here here as you see you can hide or show the participants of the class and you may use also the chatting room for example for the students to ask their questions while you are teaching here on more actions, you can see two functionalities that are interesting. One is blur my background. Uh, you may prefer to blur your background so that students concentrate on what you see and not what is around you. And they may do the same. I mean, the whole students of the class may do the same. Each one of them decides. And you may also start recording your class. You will record your class clicking here and I will explain afterwards you know where you find the, the video. Clicking here you can share with the students either specific um, documents like for example if you teach with, um, with a one PowerPoint for the whole class then it may be a good choice to, just to, to share this PowerPoint like this to earn, to stop sharing i just click here again you may need in some kind of classes you may need to use the, the whiteboard um, and you may for example make nice things on the whiteboard i stop sharing again you may use uh, decide to to share your microsoft teams screen meaning you show to the students what you see for example in the first class to explain them you know the functionalities of the toolbar to show it to them very quickly it's practical oh, you know to, to show them to use that functionality the functionality i use all the time is sharing the desktop i prefer personally to share the desktop because doing that i can very easily go from one document to the other. I can uh, open here the OneDrive, I can go to Blackboard, I can here go to uh, Google Drive, and I use, I use for each class, I use a, a Google Docs um, to take my notes during the class as a whiteboard, in fact. So I don't need to share the whiteboard of Teams because I can, you know, this is the notes on, of my class and the students have access to it. And while I use the notes of the class, I can jump very easily from writing few notes and going back to something else. For example, showing them a video. Um, if you want to show a video to the students, you first have to enable the sound. To do this, you go to the top of your screen and then a new toolbar appears and you will Click here to include the system audio. 
Once you've done that, you can play the video. And the students will also hear, they can watch the video, and they can also um, hear the sound. So, let's go back to our screen. I forgot to tell you that during the class, you will always see four small windows uh, when you're on, on screen, uh, on, uh, sorry, on Teams, you will see four windows with the four students who are the, the last to speak in the class. When you have a big class, uh, 10, 20, 30 students, even if they have their videos on, you cannot see all of them. So on Teams, you see the um, appearing, the students who are speaking, only four. I find that it's a bit of a pity. I would prefer to see eight, maybe, or ten. Uh, and a, a small limitation, I found a small issue for some teachers, is that you don't have access to um, the attendance of the class on alphabetical order. You can, though, access to the attendance of the class. I'll show you how. For this, I need to go to another group I will share um, yes my Microsoft team that's where I was um, I will go to I will go to another team sorry I will go for example to that team where I had it was also a test but anyway we were we were two you see here as we were only two uh, you can see you can see who was there for example here it was Efticios and it was me um, when you have a full class attending there you will see the whole list of the class but not in alphabetical order you will see the names of the students uh, following which time they joined the class one more thing I wanted to tell you and I forgot is that when you will be teaching and you will have on the right side the list of the students attending the class, if you, you go like this on the circle, you know, next to the name of your student, you will see these icons appearing. And for example, if you click there, video call, it means you start a private video call with that student while the whole communication with the class is frozen. So when they, they do some uh, work in autonomy in the class, you may do that, you may use that function to communicate privately with some students. You may need also to communicate with a, a group of students. So let's see how we can create a, a small group within the class. We are here in our class, and I will click here on Add Channel. And I may add the group A, for example. And I will give a private access only to that group, meaning that only the students I will register, I will register them while you know, entering here their emails only that students will be able to see that group. So I could have, you know, if I have uh, in a class of 30 students, 10 groups of 10, three students, I may have my 10 groups here. And clicking here, I can just invite them, you know, for a conversation within the group and not with the whole class. While I would do so, same thing, the conversation with the communication with the class will be frozen. Now, let's go back here. Uh, we said that we could record the class. No, sorry, it's not here. I can start recording the class, which is what I'm doing now. In fact, it is recording now, as it shows. Let's stop recording it and see how to find that video after. Stop recording. Okay. 
So to find the video, I will go to Stream. Stream is one application of uh, Microsoft. And there in Stream, I can see my content. Here, now it uploaded. If I click there, I can change the permissions. For example, allow everyone in your company to see this video or just the channels. The channels being the small group, if I do a video on the work of this specific group, or even people, meaning I can just give the permission to specific people to see the um, to see the video. Voila, we are finished which is with this. Now, but it oh, is no, we're not finished because it's just started. Let's stop recording. No, <laughs> not two at the same time. I hope it helped and um, I wish you all the best with Teams. Bye.